So Rick described your night as bad and then great and then shaky and then good, kind of quarter by quarter. So in the first quarter, what was kind of the, the bad part and then what, what did you do to make it great? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You got to ask him. I was just uh, coming out, trying to do what I do. Uh, my legs was heavy at first. I had to get my second win, but um, the bad, the good, the shaky. Uh, I, don't, I don't know about that. I'll ask him myself, though. He said your second quarter really changed the game, though. What did you do effectively in that second quarter? I don't know, man. <laughs> just no, you know what? That was game. right. Before. Okay, second quarter. Uh, we closed it out strong. We, uh, I start pressing the ball some more, you know, that we picked up the intensity as a whole defensively, um, hit some shots, and that, that probably is what changed it. I got 100% Oh, yeah, I feel good. I feel real good. Conditioning after being out two weeks, was that the biggest thing tonight? It's going to take some time. Uh, but really, I feel good today on my win. Like I said, my legs were heavy at first, but uh, sitting out, coming back in, I feel great. What did you learn from watching the team when you weren't on the court? As Rick said, that can be beneficial for a young player to just watch and see what Yogi was out there doing. Yeah, um, you know, I learned a lot about how Yogi could be effective in the game. I know so I could do some of the same things. JJ, Devin, uh, it's the same with them. And uh, learn some of the guys' personnel, like Maxi, DP, and Dirk. You know, it's a different perspective whenever you just sit from the first quarter to the fourth and watch it. You touched on the uh, defensive minds that you guys had tonight. How important is that for you guys moving forward? Uh, it's super important. We won most of our games when we keep opponents under 100 points. Uh, you know, and that's just something that we want to duplicate night in and night out. Uh, it is, that was a focal point coming into this game. And we're going to look forward to keep doing it for the rest of the year. What was it like for you to, uh, to play with your guy, Jake Holtz, at courtside? Um, I kind of got used to it, man. He was, he was courtside at almost every home game at State. Uh, he came out to the summer league. He was courtside of the summer league. So he's just been torn. He finally made it back. Um, he came out and showed love. So I appreciate it. You talk to him after the game? Yeah, I holler at him. Uh, I'm going to go in there and talk to him for a little bit. We're going to go get some eat. Did he give you a, did he give you some analysis and break down your performance? Nah, he will later. <laughs> I know he is later. He don't want enough time then, though. Crab legs at Papa Dome? No, nah, man. I, I don't even think they're open right now. <laughs> I don't think they're open. But, uh, we ain't going out the open line right now. So it's no different playing in front of them a college game than an NBA game? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's the same thing. Did you ever notice him? He was getting out quite a bit. You never once saw him get up. I ain't see it. Everybody keep telling me about it. And I ain't see it yet, man. I'm going to check it out, though. That's surprising? No. <laughs> no, that's how he is. Rick Let's said. talk about the team's aggressiveness, the energy. They were talking in the other locker room. They you guys just played harder out there and really just took them out of the, out of their game. Uh, like you said, it's just energy, energy. We came out, competed very hard on both ends, and uh, you know it was, it was just about outwilling one another out there. And, and we showed that we had willpower and we won the game. Rick said that you're capable of making plays that nobody else in the roster is capable of doing. So, what element do you think was missing while you were out, and what do you think you brought back that maybe the team is missing without you? Um. Size at the point guard, uh, and just the ability to get into the paint so often, you know, constant paint pressure that opened up the floor for the rest of the guys. Bad, great, shaky, and good. And look, it's gonna it's gonna be tough coming off two weeks and not playing an NBA game. I mean, it, the the beginning was a struggle, um, but I gotta say, I mean. The way he helped us finish the first half was probably the difference in the game. And so he's extremely important to us. And then I thought the second half, you know, they made a run. It, wasn't, it certainly wasn't his fault. Um, and I like the way he finished the game. He was out there. He was, he was calling plays based on the – and um, he did some good things. So it's good to have him back. It, it really helps our minute situation. And, um, you know, it's, it's good to get your feet wet when you haven't been, out, haven't been in there for a while. Is that bad, great, shaky, good, quarter by quarter? Yeah. Yeah. The beginning of the game's tough. It's tough. You know, and you got an attacking point guard and but when he came when he came back in, in the second quarter, I thought I thought his his stretch in the second quarter was a decisive stretch of the game. It really was. It got our crowd into it, got our energized our team. Um, you know, nobody else on our team can make those plays, you know, uh, quite the way he can and you know, and ones, you know, the three and the two for one situation was huge. 
Um, and then as it went along, you know, he, he picked up his defense in a big way. And, you know, our guards did a, did a really terrific job tonight, um, you know, creating, creating some, uh, some ball pressure and, and some aggression. You said this morning that you told the players that essentially you guys need to play a perfect game. Well, we're not we're not going to play a perfect game, but 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 we've got to be we've got to be thinking that way, and it's it's we're a team that's heavily heavily reliant on one another, um, and you saw it tonight. You know, when the ball sticks, we struggle. You know, offensively, and then, you know, defensively, um, when everybody is is tied together, we can do some good things. So, look, I, I thought I thought we put a, put together a terrific effort. Um, we've got to. Sustain this, and that's been our that's been our challenge. What'd you do, Dirk? Where's that Mavericks team then? I don't know. I mean, you know, we got to, you know, do it more consistent. I guess more often. You know, uh, compete on on the defensive end. I thought that was it's great tonight. You know, um, guys fighting for each other, fighting on the on the glass. You know, they they have a very good lineup. Uh, a lineup that can. And score and shoot and spread the floor and drum and rolling down the middle and thought uh, we try to guard them and fight them. And, you know, and when we hold teams that are you know low 90s, uh, you know we usually put ourselves in, uh, in a good position to win the game. What do you think of Dennis Knight as a turn? Yeah, I needed that. I needed. Uh, uh, we're missing some of that stuff that he brings. Obviously, it's uh, it's. Uh, you know, this mindset of, of always attacking in the open court. Uh, had some great plays at the rim early. Uh, you know, really, uh, I thought set a good tone for us. Um, and just his athleticism on both ends. Uh, picked up uh, on defense as well. So you know, I thought he did a great job, and it's good to see him back for sure. What did you guys do to keep Drummond from having a big day on the glass? Well, you know, it's, it's tough. He's a big boy. I think would help us a little bit. He, he got in a little foul trouble uh, there in the first half already, and they had to take him out some. And um, you know, he's a load. You know, the Stan is, is running a great system. Obviously, they put a lot of shooters around him, and he's always rolling down the middle. Uh, he's a great finisher and he's a great rebounder. And, and they're having a good year, and he's having a good year. And, uh, but that was that was a good win for us. And, you know, you just try to keep a body on him as much as you can. Don't, don't let him get behind you and uh, get, get all these lobs and tips and, and, and just battle him as much as you can. But it's, it's, it's tough. He's a big boy, and he's got good hands down there. Well, how are you feeling this time of year? Well, last game, I didn't feel great. I got to admit, uh, on the Phoenix game, uh, wasn't moving well today. It was actually so much better. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not perfect that, you know, it, 39, I guess. You know, there are just some uh, some days where you feel better, some days where you don't feel good. Uh, but hey, I want to be out there and I want to battle with the team. And uh, some nights if I don't have as much, just uh, be out there and compete and, and still trying to help this team uh, win some games.